walk around Morrison's and um, I'll look at stuff to review. And I realise I've not really done any, any alcoholic beverages just like, oh, I did, I did that Chinese lager, didn't I? I think that were only two or three ago. Well, forget the Chinese lager. I realised I've not done any um, alcoholic beverages just lately. So uh, I, I was looking through and um, I thought I'd do a wine one. I'm going to do a bottle of wine because a lot of people out there, a lot of the ladies out there drink wine. And um, I did a Prosecco wine a few months ago. And um, it's all quite expensive, isn't it? And I, I, and I, I just don't... I don't know, it just seems stupid spending seven or eight quid on a bottle of wine when I could be doing about five reviews for that price. And um, it gets, you know, just that. But anyway, I was walking around and I thought, with Christmas coming off, I will do some wines because everybody likes a glass of wine at Christmas. Some people like a glass of wine every day of the week, which is bloody brilliant in my book. So anyway, I've seen this thing called the Shy Pig, uh, a bottle of wine, Shy Pig. But it was about six pound a bottle. I thought, well, I'm not going to do that really yet. It could perhaps come December. Um, I'm only doing a few days at work in December. I've saved all my holiday up. And um, I might do it then. As I walk around the corner, I found these. Little bottles. Brilliant. Brilliant little bottles for people like me to do reviews. This was only £1.90 for this. And I'm not really, I know you, what you're saying is, well, you could have got a, a bigger bottle and more, but I don't want a bigger bottle and I don't want more. Um, I just want to do something for a review. So anyway, um, I picked these up. I picked a red one up and a white one. Happy days. So uh, let's just have a quick look at uh, the little story on the back. Uh, the Shy Pig, crisp white. Uh, no, not Chris White. Crisp White. 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 Um, there's a cute little pig in the vineyards often found causing mischief. Uh, so infamous is he that he ended up on a bottle or two. That he's ended up on a bottle or two. Does that mean he drinks the bottles? How does he take the top off with his hoof? Is that hoof? Or he has trotter, doesn't it? Trotters. Yeah. Uh, the crisp white is packed full of ripe citrus fruit and green apple flavours. That's like most ciders nowadays, isn't it? All chucking uh, citrus fruits in. It's a wine-based drink. It's 10.5 volume in a 187 milliliter bottle. Uh, it's produced for Australian Vintage Europe Limited. Uh, and it contains a load of stuff that I can't say. So... Yes, smells like wine. That's it, folks. Just your, looks your standard glass of wine. It's got a fruity bouquet. Probably go well with fish or chicken or beef or lamb. It smells nice to be fair. It smells quite it smells quite fresh and crisp. Um I like to, I'm no wine expert, so don't come out with that. I haven't got a bucket. I won't be swilling it around my mush and then spitting it out. It'll be going down the neck. It is quite fruity. It's got a dryness to it, uh, like most wines have. But I like that. That's nice. The shy pig has got nothing to be shy about on the white wine front. That is really good. I'm going to drink out of the bowl, folks. That is really good. It's nice and crisp. And it does say crisp. I forgot about that bit. But it is, oh, I can't see how many glasses. It is really nice. Um, like I said, I don't drink a lot of wine. Um, it's not really my, my thing, wines. Um, I can remember once I went on a uh, works Christmas do when my dad, when we used to fit double glazing, 
and uh, some place in Leicester. And uh, I got absolutely hammered. I was or a disgrace. And uh, I threw up on the way back. My dad had to pull over in the XR3. He hadn't been drinking. He didn't. Because uh, he had to get up to go to work or something in the morning. He had to do something. I weren't going. But uh, I absolutely got hammered. I mean, me sit were just like, ugh. Weren't the best thing. That is nice. That is nice, folks. If you want a bottle of wine for Christmas, um, like I say, I'm no connoisseur of wine. But that's really crispy and fruity. It's, it's just nice. I can't really describe it. But the shy pig, Chris White, Chris White is good. So we're going to move on to the red wine. How long have we got? Six minutes I've been doing this rubbish for. Not this is rubbish. My chore of talking is rubbish. Um, this juicy red is packed full of red fruit and cherry character. Cherry wine. Now there's a thing. Juicy red. Yeah, it smells like red wine. Yeah, because they have got a different odour, isn't they? Wines. You can. There it is, folks. Yeah. That's wine. It smells nice, though, as well. Another. Oh, that. Now that's. That's vi vibrant. I'm like, I am sounding like a wine connoisseur now. That's got a, a vibrant, makes your tongue come alive kind of thing. That, oh, yeah. Ooh. That's nice as well. Shy Pig, you've, you've done well here, guys and gals. No, oh, I don't want to sound like him, do I? You've done well there, boys and girls. Um, juicy red. Yeah, it's quite... Uh, it's dead. It is fruity. I'm trying to see if there is any cherry taste there, and there is. Uh, there, there is, there is, as it goes down your mouth and it, it dr dries out on your tongue. I don't, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say it's dry, I'm not trying to say it's horrible. It's not, it's really quite nice. But it has got, a, you can taste a cherry flavour as it goes down. It leaves a cherry residue in your mouth. Is that right? Is that what I'm trying to say? Is that how I'm trying to get my message over to you folks? Yeah, you can taste the... Well, I think you can taste the cherry. All right? Don't mean you will. But that's nice. That is good and all. So... If you want to buy... If you've got your mum or your dad over for Christmas and they're knocking on a little bit, or you've got your grandma or your granddad or you've got Uncle Nobby who thinks he knows everything... And um, you just want to get on the glass of wine to keep them under control and limited uh, damage valuation at Christmas around your house, spilling it on the carpet, all that kind of stuff, knocking it over on the table. Or, you know what I mean, you know, families. I mean, sometimes orphans don't realise how lucky they are. Uh, but this would be ideal. Get them a couple of bottles of this or perhaps just one. And um, I don't think you'd go wrong with this. I don't think you'd go wrong with the... Uh, hold on, I'm going to finish this. Rude not to. Nice. I don't think you'd go wrong with that. So if you just fancy a little tipple over Christmas dinner or Boxing Day or whenever uh, when you've got family over and uh, you want to buy them a bottle of drink but don't want to give them too much, 
Um, I think these would be excellent value for money. Okay, folks, try these. You won't go wrong. Laters. <laughs>